Okay, this is your morning brief for Friday, January 18th, 2019. Uh, futures are up. It looks like we're going to be up. Uh, that'll make three days in a row. Uh, and they're up fairly strong. So uh, as long as the opening holds, it uh, looks like we'll be up for uh, three days in a row. And overall in January, we're actually up 5.15% uh, on the S&P 500. I feel good about that. I made a bold call in my newsletter that uh, it was time to get back in after being negative for actually over a year. Um, so feel good about that call. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's pretty early. One little move up uh, is not... Uh, a victory just yet okay uh, shares of Tesla let's start with Tesla yeah uh, we're down 7% and they're cutting their workforce by 7% this is a bit of a shock they're still in you know build the company mode uh, increasing their uh, growth in capital uh, increasing production so all of a sudden they need a, a, a workforce cut okay that's usually something you do, you know, much later down the road. Um, so a little bit of a surprise, and shareholders did not like it. Uh, down seven percent pre-market. Netflix um, shares are also down in pre-market. Uh, they did report better than expected subscriber growth and earnings per share, but missed on revenue. And more importantly, they gave some um, weak guidance, and investors have always been concerned with the. Spending on the content uh, portion of the business. They seem to be spending more and more to get content to keep up with uh, Amazon and other streaming services. And uh, side note, I don't cover this company. Frankly, I don't have an opinion on it. It's just too difficult. Um, the business itself is actually not that hard to understand. It's the numbers, the accounting. Um, he said they pay for their content up front, then they amortize it over different lengths of periods and I can't I cannot understand the financials and and I'm pretty good at this stuff so I'm not sure uh, how the markets figured it out but uh, I find it really tough okay Schlumberger uh, is a oil and gas services company and surprising to me they're up three percent in pre-market after a stronger than expected revenue in Q4 uh, net income of uh, 538 million uh, after a loss of 2.26 billion the same time last year. Now, before you get too crazy, there was a big one-time charge. If you remove that one-time charge, they actually earned 318 million last year. So, still, uh, 538 million is definitely better than uh, 318 million, and it was a surprise to the street. So that's great. Uh, I haven't seen you know, energy's been out of favor for a while. I I pretty much have given up on it. Um, and uh, this is a good good bit of news. I'm uh, surprised. And some of the oil and gas have been trading much better this January. So I'm going to have to uh, revisit. I'm not ready to uh, jump back in just yet. But um, interesting news there. Interesting news. Okay. A couple other shares. Fast and L, F A S T, one we do cover and one we've loved for a long time. Actually, you have got two videos out on that. Please go see video.fsavaluation.com. Did one back in November, just did one last night. Um, they beat revenue by 13%. Uh, earnings per share were up 35%. However, that did only match analyst expectations, so it was telegraphed. But uh, still, nonetheless, I mean, this is a really great company. Go watch the video, it's really good. Uh, <laughs> not, not to say the video is so good, but the company is really good. Um, Domino shares are also up 4.9%, citing both domestic and overseas uh, strength. And, uh, you know, strong in, uh, <laughs> strong in Turkey and in Russia, which is kind of interesting tie there because they also served the uh, Clemson national champions at the White House pizza from Domino's Pizza. Is there a connection there? I'm not sure. Um, okay, I think that covers our morning brief for... Friday, January 18th, 2019.